Okay, so the other day I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw this awesome photo of Kendall Jenner. She's wearing this like super slouchy checkered cozy vest and obviously I got instant inspiration. So I'm thinking instead of a vest, I'll do a sweater vest and I'll try and do it in more of a patchwork style technique. And I'm thinking no pattern, just vibes. I'm just gonna go for it and see what happens and see if it looks good. I started off by making 24 of these double crochet squares. I made 12 black squares and 12 white squares. And these squares are 20 stitches long and 11 rows tall. Then I assembled my back piece and I also assembled my front piece and they look a little something like this. And then I just seamed everything together with a slip stitch seam. Uh, this is my favorite way to seam, but I think in this one, I could have just gotten away with doing the good old tapestry needle seam. Um, I feel like adding the slip stitch maybe made things a little too bulbousy. Here is the back piece and the front piece all seamed together. And then I just moved my shoulder pieces down and attached those to my back piece. Then I tried it on to see how it was looking and decided I liked it. So then I seamed the sides together. Okay, so after a thousand hours of seaming, this is what I have. I'm liking the shape. It's that more like bobbly, like circular shape, like in my reference photo. I am into the size of the squares. Um, and I, and I think it's gonna look really good when I have all my trim done. I'm a little interested to see what my collar trim is going to look like, um, but I think all in all, I'm on the right track. Now it's time for the trim. I'm using my favorite ribbing method, the front post and back post double crochet. So I'm starting at the bottom of my vest and I am attaching my hook with a slip knot. Then I am chaining three. And then for the first row, I'm double crocheting all around the bottom of my sweater vest. For row two, I'm doing the front post and back post a double crochet. How you do this is for the back post double crochet, you stick your hook underneath the back of that post. Then for the front post double crochet, I'm putting my hook in front of the post and then double crocheting like normal. It's just a double crochet. You are just putting your hook in a different location of the stitch. Then I'm going to keep doing that front post and back post double crochet all around the bottom of my vest for the second row. For the third and fourth row, I just continued that same stitch all around the vest. And now we are on to the collar. The difficult part about the collar is that I'm turning a square shape into a circular shape. So I'm just starting off with uh, attaching my hook onto the collar and then chaining three and just doing a simple double crochet all around the collar. Then I'm going to start my ribbing stitch, so my front post and back post double crochet for the second row. And I just crocheted till I got to my first corner. First I identified the two stitches that were really taking up that corner space. And I also want to keep crocheting in my ribbing technique as well. So I'm doing a front post double crochet over both of those stitches. So instead of going over one stitch, I'm yarning over, putting my hook in front of both stitches, yarning over again, and then finishing off that double crochet. And I'm going to do that for every corner. I'll show you that one more time. Now we're at the second corner. I'm identifying the two stitches that I believe really make up most of the corner. And again, staying in my ribbing stitch, I am going to put my hook over both stitches and finish up my double crochet and just do that around the next two corners as well. Now we're on row three. We're going to turn our work 
and continue to do our ribbing stitch until we get to that first corner. So now three stitches are really making up the corner. So I'm going to decrease those stitches again while still keeping my ribbing stitch. So we're going to yarn over, back post double crochet, but we're not going to finish that stitch. Um, we just wanna pull through one time. So we should have two stitches left on our hook. Then we're going to front post double crochet. And again, we're not going to finish that stitch. So now we should have three loops left on our hook. We're gonna do the same thing back post double crochet. And again, we're not going to finish the stitch. So we should have four loops around our yarn. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. It's kind of hard to explain. So if I'm making no sense, just follow the video. But as you can see, we're slowly starting to turn our square shape into a circular shape for our head. And we're going to do that decreasing technique around all four corners. So now we're on our fourth row. Again, we're going to continue our ribbing stitch. And then when we get to our first corner, you can see the stitch where we decreased. You're just going to treat that as one big stitch and just try and keep it in the pattern of the alternating stitches. And we're going to slip stitch, turn our work, chain three, and just continue to do our front post, back post, double crochet one more time around the collar. And as you can see, I also did the trim on our armholes. I just did one row of double crochet and two rows of our ribbing stitch. Then I painfully wove in all my ends and now time to see the end result. Overall, I like it. I am definitely going to wear it. It's super cozy. I can totally see myself wearing this on like a cozy summer night by a fire. Is it totally gag worthy? No. Is it cute? Yes. Should I have just seen this together regularly with the tapestry needle? Probably. But I think overall, I kind of got that slouchy shape, but I do think that I can expand upon um, this patchwork technique that's super fun and make this look um, a little bit cleaner and maybe a little bit more professional as well. I think going into this just really free ball in it, no pattern. I think I did a very good job. Those are my thoughts. Okay, bye.